the plan is for Harlequin site um, to go back to being a completely student accommodation because hotels have been recognised as um, well possibly we won't need so many of them if we don't visit the city centres quite so often and are at home with our video calls all the time but my question is why why is student accommodation assumed to be a stable investment why is it assumed that education won't change in the same way as retail and um, office space and all the rest of it they seem to carry on investing in student accommodation all the time and in my, my other minute demolishing um, retail space which al already exists is, is extraordinary I think it's a genuine uh, spot now to ask this question somewhere on the corner of Queen Street um, well, I think you should ask somebody in authoritarian yeah. you know, from the council or whatever what is, why, why are we going down that route because you're, you're piling lots of students into an area with the, without anything to buy any food you know, I think that's quite dark. Oh, well, really. no, there will be shop. There will be mm. shops around. Oh, will they? Oh, right. Well, I think, I think, I think that's right. So I'm just, I'm just getting, getting the, um, the entrance music ready. But um, I just have, I just do not come across any theory about what happens to the campus over the next twenty years. Mm. Uh, in the same way that you, you can find reports about office space or retail, but the the, the onward growth of student accommodation just seems. There's no, there's no querying about it at all. And knocking down a, a, a shopping space like Harlequins, you, I think you've got to have a good reason why you think retail is going in one direction and education is going completely different. Anyway, Chris, do, do you, will you just talk, talk for a little bit while I find your music? Yeah, I'll <laughs> talk. <laughs> um, retail is only can dwindle whereas student accommodation they're going to get paid for 360 no um they're going to get a regular income but why why do you think students will continue to go to a, a campus 30 weeks a year or, or you know they might not they might do it online but then they'll still need somewhere to live so why do they need to live do they all need to live in Exeter well they're occasionally going to have to go to lectures okay, yeah occasionally but do do they? Well, do, I just I just wondered what the what the numbers are, or if if anybody's got any numbers over ten or twenty years, because these these buildings will stay up for a while, won't they? Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine so because the people who own them won't pull them down, and maybe they can be used for other things if. The student, they don't need so many student flats that so could be a mix of all kinds of flats. But I don't know. No, I'm we'll, silly. Well, look, we'll come back to it, Chris. We'll yeah, come back to okay. it.